Antulayim Barakatu. How's everybody doing? It's been a while since I did a YouTube video. Um, here is just some of the some more scenes, some more detail I'm adding on to some real intricate detail that I'm trying to add on to, especially at this curve. You know, at this magnitude. You know, um, it's, you know, my thing on attention to detail is, and I'm real pertinent, I guess it's from the uh, OCD, I guess. <laughs> but, um, you know, once again, it's a step-by-step -step issue, you know, with Reggie the Redbird. And there's going to be more scenes, you know, coming soon. This summer is going to be really explosive. And, uh, you know, I have somewhat of a, a bigger spot where I can really do this. I'm going to do the transition between elevated to underground. So, i uh, just give you a quick rundown on Maggie the Maintenance uh, Train. <laughs> One of the characters to Reggie the Redbird. Uh, and Carl the Crane. Now, this is not, you know, what some would perceive, you know, as toyish. You know, it's, you know, I'm trying to replicate it, you know, as much as real as possible. And this to give insight to what goes on on the weekends, you know, um, especially in New York City, you know, where maintenance usually takes place. Now, for those who don't understand, you know, what's going on every weekend with maintenance, I mean, when you have a 100-plus-year-old system, you know, things tend to break down, especially when you got elevated sections, you know, where critical, you know, jobs need to get done, uh, especially cross, bra cross beams, bracings, uh, tracks, you know, the, the, these things that take a constant beating, you know, when you have trains running back and forth, you know, between the local, the express, and, you know, and then you got certain things that go on, various installation of, you know, new cables, um, various safety systems, all these things out there that take place. Uh, this crane here, I've shown this crane plenty of times, you know, where I took an MTH flat car and a Wathers Protoline, uh, crane, and I mated them together. I added some balsa wood onto the side or whatsoever. Um, and of course, you know, we have the electricians, you know, they're doing their installs, tie downs or whatnot. Um, you know, the welders to uh, weld certain, you know, things for the strat for the stanchions, um, uh, various craftsmen, you know, just different work. And, uh, if you travel the subway, especially some of the elevators and right of ways, and you have what's called an interlocking. Okay. This tower, I'm going to tie it on to, you know, a two island you know, um, elevated section of a station. And then, you know, cross junction where trains switch from local to express. So this is warranted the use of a um, interlocking tower. Now, most of the times you see interlocking towers nowadays, they're non-functional because everything's basically computerized now. You know, but sometimes, you know, the... The, the transit system can use them for storing items or whatnot and, you know, break, room, break rooms for maintenance crews. Um, you know, the signaling system, which I'm definitely going to power up. Uh, I'm going to add the fiber optics to power up the signaling systems. And, of course, you see this, uh, this crate, this, 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 this uh, bucket truck here straddling inside the gondola. Uh, usually sometime, you know, especially in a transit system, you know, and doing various jobs because, you know, so much debris and, you know, changing, changing out track material, 
you know, and just, you know, various bulk material that require, you know, bucket trucks and, you know, various other, you know, dozer equipment. Um, this crane lifting out old cabling, once again, you know, usually on weekends, maintenance, you know, takes place and, you know, new items start to, you know, take place needs to be installed. So usually they'll shut the line down. Uh, it also warrants why, you know, some lines when the train shut down, you got to use the other lines or they substitute it with some more buses, you know, and it's just various different crafts like, you know, Bowley, you know, with their equipment that they have in HO scale and, you know, the things that you could do with the imagination, you know, with, uh, you know, the trucks or whatnot, various trucks, the supervisors, trucks, um, I'm going to also add the third rails if, in case anybody wants to know. And like I said, you know, I'm definitely going to soon, you know, add the, uh, fiber optics for the signals for the express track. Now I'm going to get, just give you a little rundown on this curve right here and the close proximity of the tracks. Sometimes when being built, you know, the, some engineers, you know, they, tie it all together depending on you know the area that the trains are in so they'll have certain signals where the express can go through or the local can go through you know so um the trains don't you know run into each other also to which you're not ever going to see an ind or bmt subway train like the d train you're not ever going to see them running the two train or the five line or you're not going to see, you know, the B or the J train on the six line. They're too big, you know, and they just won't fit. It's too long. The cars are too long to overhang and probably fall off of the elevated. So, and I don't think anybody, especially in the Bronx, you know, would appreciate a 40-ton <laughs> subway car, you know, landing on a bodega or not. And, you know, various scenes, you know, the park scene, you know, everything is pretty much, you know, scratch built, you know, with little details here and there. And, you know, I'll have it set up to where eventually I'll add lights. You know, once again, you know, when you're dealing with model trains and the budgeting, you know, it's, you know, some of these things are expensive. So you want to keep the kids away because they'll get curious and <laughs> I don't have the money that much right now to be replacing it and you know and to replace certain items it's going to be you know it's some of these things they're made one time one time only so if they break you know then that's thousands of dollars i would have to spend you know and you know i got you know life obligations that i got to tend to um another thing don't turn your back on bachman um you know, material, some engines, such as the 70 tonner. It's close to what the MTA uses for its maintenance away trains, uh, as well as the older, you know, gondola cars. You know, you can retrofit these equipment, you know, and, um, you know, smaller equipment, you know, that used to run on freight lines, you know, don't be too quick to get rid of them. You know, if you're changing errors to something modern, you know, it's the whole fact of, you know, imagination. So these things can suffice. So, you know, one thing about New York City is, you know, you can mix and match certain things, whatever. You know, they're not so quick to waste items. We're not so quick to waste anything. You know, you could always use, you know, something old and, you know, make it something that's pretty useful. Uh, of course, the uh, stanchions on the bottom you know, the, and just the various architecture, something you'll see on a lot of our elevators and some things that you see on Chicago. Albeit in New York City, we have these guardrails because, again, you know, many of our scenes, you know, the elevated is why, why do we have elevated? Uh, it's to separate the right of way, you can observe your city, such as if you live along the Pelham line, you could observe. 
you know, what we call the Latin Express, because a lot of the Latin community, you know, straddle along the uh, six line. And so that um, the two and the five and the uh, four line and the number one line all the way in the Riverdale section of the Bronx. You know, so it's, uh, you know, the right of way, you know, on the elevated. And as you get to the South Bronx, you know, the tracks really have nowhere to go. So where else to go but underground? And that's why we have an underground because the city's too congested, you know. So, um, so one thing about Reggie the Redbird is just to give people the reason, you know, why, you know, we have things set up the way we have them. And, you know, I'll also have various scenes with Reggie, you know, and funny, hilarious scenes that'll take place, you know, certain scenarios where they get into. But like I said, it's a step-by-step -step process, and it'll be coming soon. You know, just bear with me. You know, think, so many things is happening right now. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to give you a, another update. And uh, once again, please comment, like, and share. All right? So, um, alhamdulillah, I'm going to get ready to call it a night because it's kind of late. All right? All right, peace.